the 96th Academy Awards. This is going to be amazing. Truly the calm before the storm. Actually, Julian, I guess this is kind of the storm. This is of the, the storm. storm. The, the, they're going to kick us off in a bit. <laughs> uh, this morning, if you watched, it was pretty much just me, Julian, a couple other people, and now a frenzy. Uh, people awaiting the arrival of Ryan Gosling, uh, people awaiting the arrival of uh, Marco Robbie. Julie, it's her. Yeah, she's here in the pink dress. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, often it. we do that when we don't know exactly who it was. That was somebody being escorted by somebody. Uh, this is right where the turn happens. Uh, where this blue dress is, that's pretty much right where Julian and I are that's going to be. TikTok, Social media. Hey, huge. Thing. I'm a huge fan of your work. Oh, thanks. What Howdy. are you most excited about today? Uh, seeing Oppenheimer win, hopefully. Yeah, you know, I was with you in New York City when you interviewed the cast of Oppenheimer. I know, yeah. Did you predict then it would do so well? Yes. yes. Uh, just, it, I, it's Nolan, so it makes sense. Go crush it. Thanks. Good to see you. <laughs> Got it, see? That guy's awesome. Okay. Uh, you, what's his name? Reese. Reese. Reese, R-E-E. S-E? S-E. Uh, <laughs> he is one of the biggest TikTok stars, that guy. So... Everybody's here. Influencers, you name it. Reese is here. I sat side by side with uh, when we interviewed Christopher Nolan uh, and when I talked to Killian Murphy. My show coming up at 1 o'clock today on ABC, Take a Look, has all the interviews that I was talking about with that guy, with Reese. Uh, it's kind of awesome. Um, hey, what's going on? Dolores, what's going on? Jamin Jones, good to see you. Uh, Maria, good to see you. Hey, Ryan Murphy is on here. Good to see you, Ronnie. And uh, Bonnie, good to see you, too. Do you guys want to take a walk? Julian, what are you most That's excited good. about? Uh, I, I want to see Bad Bunny. I heard he's going to be here now. Bad Bunny's going to be here on the yeah. red carpet? He, well, Is he performing? He's, he's a presenter. Bad Bunny's a presenter yeah. for uh, the music? I don't know who he's presenting, but he's presenting. I think Billie Eilish is going to take that category. Anyway, this is what it looks like if you were at the Academy Awards. I'm just going to walk down the line. Maybe TV's George Pinocchio will talk to us. Maybe. Uh, by the numbers, you're looking at 50,000 square feet of carpet, $25,000 worth of product, 600 hours to install, 600 labor hours to install. What's up, Paul? Good to see you. $54 million to present the Academy Awards. If a movie wins, it usually sees a gain in box office of about $7.5 million, which is really nothing. It's kind of chump change when you think about it. They're going to lock down the red carpet in just a few moments. That's when the stars are going to be coming down. Stars like Billie Eilish. Stars like... That's Laverne Cox from E Entertainment Television. Laverne, right there, probably not wanting to be on TV. Let's go talk to. So I don't know if he wants to talk, but we're going to talk to TV's George Pinocchio. I'm on my Facebook Live. Can I talk to you, sure. sir? I was told not. I was told not to make eye contact with the big stars, oh. but I know this guy, George Pinocchio. Good How are you? you? Good to Good. see. You. How many Oscars for you? This is my 30th Oscars, Mark. 26 for me, 30th for you. 
Uh, what's best about it this year? I think what's best is that Jimmy Kimmel has this idea that what he wants to do more than anything else is have you have a good time. So I think Jimmy Kimmel doesn't get nervous. Maybe the people in the audience get a little nervous a little bit. if he tells a joke, but if he tells a joke, it's going to be in good fun. He is not out to really get anybody, and I think that's the great thing about Jimmy Kimmel. So we're going to have a really beautifully spirited show, and we're going to have some surprises with some of the people taking the stage. And everyone's talking about Ryan Gosling and his I'm just Ken number. Yeah, Rumors the, the big dance. He'll be a dozens yes. of dancers, right. So I think that's going to be a show-stopping moment in the show. And I think if the people in the audience are hungry and look under their seats, they may find food, I'm told. Okay. And who's going to win? I think Oppenheimer is the favorite to win Best Picture. I think that would be a surprise if it didn't. But, you know, you never know until that envelope's open, right? Like, La La Land. Like Jimmy Kimmel, on your show, Jimmy Kimmel said he hopes for surprises. He wants something to go wrong, right? Yes. So if Barbie were to upset, that would be an example uh, think, of something going crazy. And I think he has the most jokes for Barbie because it was such a joyous movie. Right. And I know he's a big fan of Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling and America Ferreira and Greta Gerwig. In fact, he loves shooting that promo and he felt like they invited him into their world so he could do it for the Oscars. And it was a great moment for him. Well, this is a great moment for me catching up with my friend, one of the kindest and most talented and most knowledgeable people in the business. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too, my 30-year friend. TV's George Pinocchio, everybody. Thank you, George. All right. Let's go this way. He really is one of the nice ones. Yeah, he's a good one. Good, good, good guy. Oh my gosh! Hello! Introduce yourself! Emily Evans from, well, I'm actually with ITV today, not KTLA, which makes change. Yeah, so Emily and I, I've known her for a long, long time. You've been yeah. friends with TV's Sam Rubin. Yes, absolutely. Right. Which I wear is Sam Rubin, actually. I don't think he's even on the carpet. I think he's yet. around the corner at a different part of the red carpet. What are you most excited about? I'm most excited to see the I Am Ken performance. That number. And everyone goes, so is Ryan going to be able to pull off the dance? Yeah. Well, come on, La La Land. And the kids started out right. as a he's gonna be here. Look. Lost you for oh, a moment. We're that's back. How I, We're back. See, that's how excited I get talking about Ryan yeah, Gosling I'm dancing. I'm so excited. That's the one that I'm, yeah, really excited for. And we're actually live on ITV um, in England doing a whole live thing for an hour and a half. So, yeah. yeah. Where can we see you here? Huh? Where can we view you here? Where can oh, we see you? Um, actually, in America. Is ITV.com? ITV. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. out. Anyway, Let good to see, see you. you. All right. Let's go. Let's go. We're like swimming upstream here. Right. Best dressed cameraman right there next to you. You're just much more than a cameraman, Julian. Hey, Linda, who do you want to see? Timothy, who would you like to see? Megan, what are you hoping to see? I will find it for you here. Cheyenne, great to see you. She says we're looking sharp. Same back at you. I want to show them the glam bot where they do the slow motion picture. Yeah, let's go see that. This is new, I think three years ago they added this. This is where the stars show up and they take the big 360 photo, much like you do at pretty much every celebration year ender. Well, it's here and it started here at the Oscars. Where is that thing? Trying to see what the lights are. Oh, no, there's that guy. He's practically famous in his own right for doing the glam bot. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. The guy with the good hair. The guy with the good hair. That, by the way, the big staircase, that's where everybody goes, right on the other side, the Dolby Theater. 35-foot Oscar statues before us, and a 10-foot tall Julian. Oh, yeah, Cole, that's cool. Should we go try to engage Cole? I don't know. Uh, that might be a little tricky there. A little much? All right, guys. The clock is ticking on this Oscar countdown. One o'clock. Watch my show. Take a look. That's what it is. That's what it is.
Take a look. One o'clock on ABC. Go to abc10.com, stream it anywhere. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you behind the scenes with the Oscars. Have an awesome day.